how to schedule estimate quantity and cost of farlings in Revit. Uh, create shared type parameters. Go to new uh, type farlings cost. Type of parameter uh, currency. Okay. Okay. Then go to project parameters. Add shared parameter. Select. Select. Uh, Perlin's cost. Okay. Check type under identity data. Then check curtain wall mullions. Okay. Then, okay. Create global parameter to assign Perlin's cost parameter. Go to global parameter. Create new type Perlin's cost. Then type parameter currency under identity data. Okay, then put price, let's say uh, 500. Apply. Okay. Then create uh, assign per lint cost from global parameter into curtain volumes. Pick curtain volumes. Edit type. Perlin cost pick pick Perlin cost okay then okay then create schedule quantities for from for curtain wall mullions under schedule tab schedule quantities then new construction select curtain wall mullions okay the insert type length and Perlin's cost uh, add calculated parameter and name it quantity 6 meter per piece is the unit 6 meter Per piece. Six meters the length of the purlins. Go to the formula. Pick length. Uh, over six. Open and close parentheses. Times to one point zero five. Note plus 5% for al allowance. This equals to. Okay, then add calculated parameter and name it total cost. Total cost. Then go to the formula. Pick uh, quantity times the Perlin's cost okay then okay then go to sorting and grouping check brand totals formatting total cost uh, right uh, make it in currency to decimal place Use digit grouping, calculate totals, then quantity, alignment, right, uh, calculate totals, check field format, 
make it in fix to decimal place use digit grouping then furlings cost alignment right fill format ok <coughs> length right check fill format uh, I think it's ok um, sorting and grouping formatting fields ok let's formatting again appearance and check blank row before data okay let's see the schedule okay now we have the schedule the type we have the group raptor the length the quantity and the parents but uh, the raptor is should not be included in this schedule so we go back to the 3d select the root raptor and change it to like a generic 100 mm group okay so it will not included in the schedule back to the schedule now you have the only the furlings okay you have the quantity check the length okay so you have the quantity the furlings cost and the total cost okay let's check the global parameter change the cost let's say 520 apply okay okay change it's that's it thank you